Look, check this out. Look at this glorious view out here. Holy smokes. This map is so beautiful. I just thought I'd share that. But anyways, hello everybody. How's everyone doing today? So we're out here today starting a fresh new solo PvP journey. Just you and me on an official PvP server. And this time around, we're not in the Exile Lands as you may have noticed. We're in Sipta. And this is a brand new experience for me because I haven't really played this map before. Played it for a few days when it first came out on console but never really explored what new things Sipta brought to Conan. So it's it's pretty much like I'm playing this map for the first time ever and as per usual I got so much to learn so let's go ahead and get started now I did decide to skip and spare you guys of all that intro stuff where I wake up at the beach and then I wander around for 40 minutes looking for a base location and then I spend an hour or two building a base and crafting all the benches so right now we're past all that. I have already built myself a starter base, which is this one. And I picked this location because it looks so beautiful and the vibes are great. I know it's not a very PvP base, but it's all good. This is just a place that I can call my home as I get through this early game grind and learn Sipta. Once we reach endgame and have learned Sipta, that's when we'll get real serious about this. But as for now, this is just where we're going to be living at. I do have a secret stash base somewhere else to hide my good stuff later on. So don't worry if I get raided. I don't mind. It's okay. Like I've said, this is just a place to call my home. So let me go ahead and show you guys our new base of operations and here we have it it is a very small base but i think for now this will get the job done and will expand as we go and like i said i did already go ahead and craft myself all the benches that we're going to be needing so we can just head straight to exploring sipta so obviously since we're still in the early game i think our first mission on sipta will be to upgrade our tools to star metal just because i want to get straight to the good tools that way we can progress a whole lot faster i don't even want to bother at all with steel or hardened steel now i went ahead and looked up a guide and they said that you can get star metal at the center of the map where all the crazy stuff happens so we're gonna be going there to get some star metal but of course we're gonna need some explosive arrows first to be able to mine the star metal stone so before we gather some star metal we're gonna go ahead and gather all these items needed to craft these explosive arrows and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have some star metal tools and maybe a star metal weapon Alrighty so to make the dragon powder that we need for the explosive arrows we're gonna need a hundred steel fire which is made up of two tar and one brimstone i'm gonna go ahead and farm up and make myself a tannery because i did forget to craft one earlier and once we get a tannery i'll go ahead and start processing the hide into tar Thankfully, I do have some hide that I collected from when I was building my base, so that should save us some time. Boom, there we have it. We got our tannery down, and now we can actually start processing some leather so that we can get some tar. That way, we can make our steel fire. But let's go ahead and put these down right here. And is it just me, or did they increase... The crafting time for things it looks to be going a whole lot faster than before but i'm not too sure that may just be me thinking that but anyways first things first like i said uh we're gonna go get some brimstone so that we can also make steel fire and along the way we'll also skin some animals so that we can get even more tar so i think that's what we're gonna do first now i should look at a map and see where you can get brimstone but i think i'm just gonna maybe wander to this area right here and see if i can find some brimstone along the way because uh, i do gotta learn this map i gotta figure out where everything is and yeah just do some exploration maybe we'll run into some bases we'll see actually before we head out let's go ahead and feed ourselves and also hydrate ourselves because for this solo journey, we're going to try and play this as good as possible. I know for my last series, there were a lot of people that <laughs> were upset that I never had food with me. And I was always just like hungry or thirsty. But this time, as you can see, I got my water skin and some food with me. So we're good. 
my last solo series was actually filmed from December to March and I was editing and posting those episodes by June and July. So a lot of you guys were actually giving me some great suggestions and tips but I couldn't really apply those suggestions because the series had already been filmed months prior. But with this new series, I'm really excited because I'm going to try my hardest to film an episode and then I'll edit it the next day and then post it the next day after that. And it's kind of going to be like a quote unquote live series. So you guys can share all of your thoughts and suggestions and tips and I can probably use them in the next episode after that. So you guys will be able to actually alter the course of this series. And I'm going to try my hardest to make that work because, you know, this YouTube thing is just something that I do as a hobby and sadly my real job eats up quite a huge portion of my day but we got this we can do this so yeah go ahead and share all of your tips and suggestions and knowledge because i'm absolutely clueless about sipta and i am in need of a to-do list so that i know what i should be exploring and focusing on and i always love hearing from you guys you guys are my partner in this journey so let me know wait is this black ice already <laughs> I'm so used to the exile lands where that's kind of like end game stuff because you got to have like stuff to survive in the cold. But I guess we can get it now. That's great. I do wish I had an encumbrance built just so that I can carry as much as possible. But in these new lands, I want to be ready for a fight against any player that is not friendly. So I am rocking a strength vitality build right now. But I'm actually excited because I know that there's one kit here in Sipta that it's an encumbrance kit, but it also leaves you strong enough to be able to fight as an encumbrance build. And I'm excited to get that one. I don't really know the name of it, but I know a lot of people use it to farm and they can defend themselves. So, oh, there's a cave over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank goodness we came in here. We got some brimstone. Just what we needed. Now, if we can get maybe like 500, that should be enough to make at least 10 explosive arrows, I would think. Oh, let's also take some of this. I love coal. All right, let's see if we can just find some more brimstone. That'd be great. I know that I should look up a resource guide or something like that, but I do want to explore this area a bit on my own and just get to know it. But I'll give it five more minutes and see if I can find some brimstone on my own. And if I don't, I'll look up a guide. So I found this little encampment here and I took down a few thralls to see if maybe they would drop some gear. But no luck so far. I'm going to finish going through this and hopefully I'll find a piece of gear or something. Oh, I don't even know what these things are. Oh, we got some gear. So we were able to somewhat loot that little encampment. Uh, we got some steel and some iron bars and some boots out of it, which is great, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it has been over five minutes, so it's time for me to look up a guide and see where we can get brimstone now. So let me go ahead and look one up right now. So I just looked at a video and it turns out that we were actually pretty close to a little brim lake area here. Oh, is that someone's base? Yes, it is. Well, let's go check the timer on it. Oh, and they're online right now. All right, so I'm going to just skedaddle right now because I am on a farm run and I don't want to risk losing my inventory and not be able to complete our mission. Now, of course, on this server, I just got here, so I don't have any friends or allies, so I don't know who's friendly or not. So we gotta play it safe for now while we learn the politics of the server. Oh, check it out, and here we have it, some brimstone. Let's go ahead and farm it up. Alrighty, so we got a few good notes out of that, but uh, I am about to be over encumbered, so I'm going to head to base and depot all this. Now, if we could get to star metal within the next hour, that'd be amazing. Because in the exile lands, man, it takes me like two weeks to get to star metal. But keep in mind, I don't get to play that much because of work and all that, but it still takes me a while. I'm not the fastest player. 
uh, when it comes to snowballing. I usually take it pretty slow, one day at a time. But yeah, if we could get to it in one hour, I'm gonna be real happy. Alright, so just made it back and I'm gonna go ahead and start making some steel fire. So it looks like we are gonna have enough. Uh, I think with all this here, we should have enough to make it to 100. And then what else? So we got this, we got this. We gotta get some crystals. Do I have enough? Uh, I need a few more crystals. And then of course the hardest part, demon blood. At least for me, I always struggle in early game to get some demon blood, especially when I don't have a thrall or a decent weapon or armor. But right now we do need some demon blood to progress. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick Google search and try and figure out how we can get demon blood in Sipta. All right. So I did a quick Google search and I read that you can get demon blood from some of the monsters at the edge of the storm. So we're going to go there and just kind of check that out. Maybe we'll end up getting other resources on the way there. Now, I don't know if that's the most efficient way of getting demon blood, but of course, feel free to share your knowledge and let me know in the comments, how do you get demon blood, especially in the early game when you don't have anything, you don't have good gear, you don't have a thrall. How do you guys get demon blood? So we're on our way right now to the center where the storm takes place and I'm hoping real bad that we're going to be strong enough to take on these monsters without a kit. Uh, I should get myself a kit. And I think for our next episode, we're going to go ahead and craft ourselves our first kit. That's definitely in our to-do list once we get our star metal tools. Will this thing give me demon blood? It looks like it might. Let's try and take it down. Oh, these weapons are so weak. Yeah, daggers is always the way to go with these PvE monsters. Oh, let's go over here so that it doesn't fall. There we go. Alright. So we get demon blood. We just need two. No, no demon blood. I mean, it was worth a shot. Let's try one more of these. Maybe it just has a really low drop rate. It's so exciting to be trying out Sipta because everything is brand new to me. So it almost feels like I'm playing a whole new game with the same mechanics that I'm already used to though. And then one more. And then in a few weeks or maybe sooner, sorcery's coming. So that's gonna add a whole new world to Conan. All right, so let's see, do we get demon blood? Just give me two, that's all that I need. Nope. Oh, looks like I'm thirsty. And this time I actually have water with me. All right, no demon blood, but it has, oh, it actually has loot. Nice, so we actually got the crystals we needed. So it did pay off in the end to actually kill these monsters. Now with crystals out of the way, we got three out of four ingredients needed to craft explosive arrows. We just need demon blood. And right now we're continuing our journey to the center where we'll hopefully get some demon blood. Now the question is how often does this storm actually take place? Cause I don't know that. And uh, I'm hoping that by the time we make it there, the storm's already kicking in. I did always want to try out Sipta, but the thing is there weren't really that many active servers. And it seems like the Sipta servers are starting to get filled now, which is great. I was also inspired to try out Sipta because when I was playing in the Exiled Lands in my previous series, you know, we were always being attacked by transferring clans that would just come loaded with like Sipta stuff and they always had the upper hand. But if I play on Sipta and everyone has the same access to the same gear, then it's an even playing field. I think Funcom should make Sipta items available. In the exiled lands without having to transfer oh these spiders do they give demon blood let's find out the heck these spiders just disappeared out of nowhere looks like there's some black eyes over there 
Dang, this skeleton already saw me from like a mile away. I'm gonna try and bring it down and see if it gives demon blood. Let's see, demon blood. <laughs> nope. I'll take some of this though while I'm at it. Check it out. I think that's a star metal node over there. And another one and another one. There's three here. Wow, so it looks like it's a lot more common here than finding it in the exile lands. Damn, look at all these star metal nodes just laying around here. And they can't even mine it. Ooh, I'll take this silk though. Because I'm sure it'll come in handy for the next episode when we get our first kit. Really loving how all these resources are just bundled together. Really helps with like farming. Took a short little break hoping the storm would start, but I read online that it passes every 75 minutes, if that's correct, and we don't have that kind of time, so we're back on the hunt for some demon blood. Oh, found some spiders. Let's find out if they give demon blood. Alright, moment of truth. Will this give me demon blood? Nope, no demon blood. But at least we got some Icor, Icor, whatever. Alright, so what about these scorpions or these weird looking zombie dogs? Let's find out. Yes, we got demon blood. Oh my goodness. Finally. <laughs> okay, so those dogs here in the center of the map, they do give you demon blood or was it the scorpion? <laughs> Can't really tell since I hit probably both of them at the same time. I think it was the dog though that gave me demon blood, but let's go ahead and try taking this one down and see if it gives us demon blood. I'm so excited to just get better weapons too. It's gonna be such a huge upgrade once we get to like star metal weapons. Alright, so no demon blood this time, but it's okay. We got six from the last one and all we need is two, so we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and return back to base and finally make our explosive arrows. Yeah, the center of the map is pretty cool so far. It seems to have a whole lot of resources that we need and it's pretty close to our base. So it's not that far of a walk. And then hopefully when we get our horse, it's going to be a whole lot faster as well. And like I figured, I had a feeling that uh, Demon Blood was going to be the most challenging resource to get, at least in early game. But you know what? It wasn't too bad. Uh, we still got it pretty quickly. So I'm just so excited to get star metal tools. Man, I've never had it in like day one. Back at home base. Let's go ahead and put that demon blood there. We got some tar. Now we just gotta finish crafting. Oh, do we have enough? Ooh, we might not have enough yet. I'll just go ahead and get the rest of the uh, steel fire that we'll need. You know what? We might be able to save ourselves the cost. Actually going to go ahead and upgrade our fireball to this one. Since we do have the necessary resources for it. And now the dragon powder will be a whole lot cheaper to make. And I think it goes a little faster as well. So I'll just go ahead and talk to you guys once I get my explosive arrows. Alrighty, look at that. We got our explosive arrows. I also went ahead and crafted myself a hunting bow. So now we're just going to head out and uh, go get some star metal finally. I'm actually going to go ahead and leave five here just in case I get ganked as I'm making my way there. I don't want to end up losing everything. And at least if we do get killed, uh, we have five more to fall back on. You know what? I almost left without food. And when it comes to this new series, that's the ultimate sin. Gonna go grab some more. Alright, now we're ready to go. We got our food. 
We got our water skin and our explosive arrows. Let's go. You know what? Since the storm never hit while we were looking for demon blood, hopefully this thing doesn't hit as we're farming star metal. That would be some terrible timing. Cause uh, I don't know how crazy that storm is. I just hear that all the monsters are like really strong. So I don't know if those YouTube videos that were describing the storm were just exaggerating or if it's just like regular monsters. But regardless, I would much prefer that I farm star metal in peace. Oh, look at this. Great way to intimidate your enemies. Alrighty, and we're back here. And let's see if we can find one of those hundreds of star metal nodes that we ran by last time. Oh, right there. Found the first one. Let's check our surroundings. And let's go ahead and blow this up now. Dang, we got a star metal on our first day of this playthrough. That's crazy for me. And we got a second one here. I think I'm also going to form up some brimstone because I know we'll need it to convert this into star metal bars. Is that a recipe? Do I learn something? Oh, what is that? That scared me. <laughs> Is that more star metal nodes? Let's go get some fresh ones. Straight from space. And here it is. Oh, I think that's enough. I don't know if I'm going to go after that one. Star metal is like such a mission to get in the exile lands. Just finding it. But here it's just abundant. Let me just take some brimstone real quick. All right, so let's hit the road now. Let's head back to base. And it looks like the storm didn't hit. And I'm so loaded with star metal. This is like the most star metal I've ever gathered from a single run. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at home base. Alrighty, so we're back at home base and I got all three furnaces running and I'm just waiting for all this star metal to get processed and then we'll go ahead and craft ourselves our star metal tools and maybe a weapon and then we'll call it a day. Alright, don't click off just yet. I got something really important to tell you guys. Let me just get up here to film the outro. Alright, so we did it. We accomplished our mission for the day. We are past iron into star metal. We got our star metal spear, our star metal pickaxe, and skinning knife. And now we're ready to start snowballing. Now, for the next episode, I need you guys' help. It's time that I get some armor, so let me know in the comments down below what armor I should be getting next. Now, remember, I'm fresh on Sipta, and this is day one, so don't tell me something completely unrealistically difficult. Now, if you're going to recommend something, keep in mind that this is all that I have. These are my only personal belongings. We can farm some items, of course, just like we did with our explosive arrows. But don't tell me something insane where I have to kill like a super strong boss while I'm still in early game. But yeah, I don't know. So just let me know in the comments, guys. I would really appreciate it. But anyways, thanks for watching and tagging along and I'll see you guys next time.